G'day guys, it's Brandon Green here. We're going to get into another episode. Let's go Brandon Green. All right, we're going to talk about Biden polling crisis. Democrats want someone else. Now, this is incredible because fucking obviously. But who the fuck are you going to get? What, are you going to use fucking Kamala? You're not going to use Kamala. You're not going to use anyone. You're just going to stick with fucking Biden. You know why? Someone's fucking controlling him. But uh, no one will ever admit it. Anyway, far leftist uh, activist uh, David Pakman is um, going to have a chat about this. He's going to finally admit that Biden is a fucking dementia patient. Let's get into it. The new crisis impacting Joe Biden is new polling that shows most Democrats want someone other than Biden to be the nominee for 2024. You would hope so. Decreased approval ratings for Joe Biden and concerns about his age. I weirdly yeah, saw a bunch of comments saying, oh, David, you won't cover plus. this. You're too afraid. And frail. Again. Not a fit it's so boring Not to hear that. When have I ever been afraid to cover anything? When have I been afraid to criticize? This isn't even a criticism. It's just here is polling data. He does not speak. That's right. David Pakman does not speak about this. He does not criticize Biden. And there's plenty of content there. He does not talk about Biden's laptop. Doesn't talk about Kamala, about the border failures. Doesn't talk about any of this, the, the big guy, that scandal. Doesn't talk about anything. Data about Democrats. I'm not even a Democrat. I don't care about the Democratic Party. I care about electing the best possible yes. person to inspire and make positive change in the country. So on that note, there is new polling that is not good. It is not good for Joe Biden. Here is some of the panicked coverage from CNN. Take a look at this. Our tough numbers. It is a snapshot of this moment 14 months out, but it shows the work ahead that President Biden and his team have if he's to be successful every election. You mentioned the approval rating at 39. 39% of fucking Democrat voters approve for this old fucking dementia fucking dude. See here. It, who sniffs kids? Fucking Biden is hanging down what here world are we up the world's well, upside down? Trump and Carter, they didn't win their uh, attempts at re-election. So that is a danger zone there for the president. Uh, sure? You noted the economy piece. I mean, look at the sour mood of Americans. Only 30% of Americans in our poll say things are going well in the country. Seven in 10 say they're going badly. And then specifically discussing the aspect of the poll that dealt with Joe Biden's age. Let's look at that mentioned it at the top. It is the age factor. I mean, we see 49% of Democrats, we asked an open-ended question, what concerns you about Joe Biden and his candidacy? Age, number one, okay? Then we asked more broadly to the American people overall in this poll, are you seriously concerned that Biden's age could negatively impact his ability to serve another full term? Three quarters of Americans are seriously concerned about that. When, when have you seen three quarters of Americans agree on anything? This is a real problem for the president. Uh, current mental and physical competence. 73% of Americans say seriously concerned that his age has a negative impact on that and that his age has a negative impact on his understanding of the next generation's concerns. Nearly seven in 10 Americans say that. So the first question anytime there is a story based on polling has to be, is this one poll or what does the polling in general say? And when you look at the polling big picture, it is not great for Joe Biden, but it's also not a disaster for Joe Biden. Let's take a look at this yeah, sort of piece by piece. The latest morning again. consult poll on Biden versus DeSantis has Biden up five. And Mate, DeSantis is not. Has Biden up three. It'll be, be Biden Trump. The you shouldn't even be talking Biden to Sanders. Then Biden would be up 40. We don't. And it's always sort of close. And it always comes down to a handful of swing states. But given all of those kind of caveats, it's not really that bad for Joe Biden on average. Obviously, you can find individual polls that are not good for Joe Biden, and they shouldn't be ignored to the extent that they're reliable. A bunch of polls have them even. Now, we have to then talk about the entire age thing. The Biden is too old to be president thing. Mate, he's fucking a vegetable. You could be in a wheelchair in two years, you fuck. 
but still recognize that if Biden's the nominee, he's better than Trump or DeSantis. It's not about his age. It's about his fucking... He's an old, fucked up fucking dude. ...are worded. Additionally, many of the people that think Biden is too old to be president also think that Donald Trump is too old to be president. So it might be, well, listen, uh, 76% think Biden's too old and 68% think Trump is too old. And so what matters is that gap. And there might be people who think Biden's too old and Trump isn't, but they still prefer Biden to Trump. And so at this early stage, you should be vigilant about polling. We don't ignore polling. I don't do this thing where it's like, well, polling doesn't matter if it's not good and then it doesn't. It's the polls give us an idea of what's going on, but we have to contextualize it with it's the first week of September. Many people still aren't paying attention. Now, let's get to a couple of the reactions that I'm seeing from Democrats. I saw this on our subreddit. Uh, I saw discussions on our uh, Discord about this and in the comments on YouTube, et cetera. There's basically two uh, ends of the spectrum in terms of how people are reacting to this polling news about Joe Biden. One side is red alert, get Biden the hell out of there come up with some excuse, simply have Joe Biden say, hey, you know what? My goal when I ran in 2020 was to get Trump out, to rescue the country, to save democracy, get us out of COVID, whatever. I did it. I did it. And now it is time for the next generation of Democrats to decide the path forward. So I am going to be stepping aside and putting my full effort Who into ensuring been? that whoever is the Democratic nominee will defeat whoever is the Republican nominee. He could do that. And obviously there are people who would see Biden do that and say, oh, disaster, he, he just can't do it. This is an excuse, whatever. But isn't it what you want? If you're saying Biden can't handle it, wouldn't you want Biden to step aside and have the Democratic primary that you say uh, you, you want us to have? We still could have a Democratic primary. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is running. Marianne Williamson is yeah. running. If Biden stepped aside, I'd be interested in seeing Gavin Newsom get in there. We would have a Gavin primary Newsom. and Democratic voters would get to pick. They would get what some of them want. That See how David just loves whoever it is? Like Gavin Newsom and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. are two polar opposite people. But hey, if they're um, a Democrat, I'm going to grift. Grift and grift and grift. And. It's based only on the people already paying attention. 67% of Democrats wanting an alternative to Joe Biden. It's too early. Plus, most of that 67% that wants an alternative is still going to vote for Joe Biden if he is indeed the nominee. It would be a very bad idea to make some kind of panic decision right now. It's too early. We need to wait. The question with the wait is, if you wait, does it become too late? And that is the concern among some. My view on this at this point in time is that at an individual personal level, I would prefer that there be a younger candidate. That is my preference in a vacuum. I would prefer that it be someone to Joe Biden's left. I have all sorts of personal preferences. And also, it is not a decision that requires more than a split second of thought. If it's Biden versus Trump, I'm voting Biden. If Biden dies or can't do it, there will be a vice president that will be better than Trump to replace Joe Biden. If it's Biden DeSantis, exact Fuck same who? thing. These aren't tough decisions. Wow. So what's important for us, remember, we follow this stuff. If Biden dies, like, you even know that he's fucking on his last legs and you still think that he can be equivalent to the great Trump. <laughs> Maybe differently calibrated than those of the average voter. And I would not read more than we need to into the polling, but I also would not ignore it and pretend there's nothing going on because obviously something is going on and there is a desire for change. Think of your most personal email. Crazy, man. Fucking you're a crazy dude, Pacman. Um, yeah, just pretty much saying, what are you saying there? You're just saying, yeah, whoever it is, I've got your back. They're going to be better than Trump because... He's on his whole shtick is to be in the favor and in the pocket of the dude who is against Trump. That's his base. He whips up hate. He's fucking crazy. <laughs>